Good morning, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Instagram, wherever you're tuning in to us. I am Marcus uh, from Aroma Time Bistro, your chef on a mission. I'm sitting in the restaurant right now. It is, if you're watching this live, it's about a quarter to um, quarter to ten on Saturday morning, uh, the 29th of May. It is, um, it's crummy out. It's cold here. It's crummy. It's raining. I was outside with the smoker, so I'm a little wet. Um, smoking some brisket right now. Uh, good morning, everybody tuning in. If you're tuning in live, just drop a comment, hashtag live. If it's on the replay, hashtag replay. Going to talk about salmon again today. Salmon's a hot topic for me right now because wild um, salmon's in season in Alaska. Wild salmon is in season in Alaska. And restaurants have no excuse for serving toxic farm salmon. Um, in fact, I had to drop into Restaurant Depot uh, yesterday. I was in New Jersey. I was going through Hackensack. And Restaurant Depot there is one of their largest um, restaurant depots. And um, I had to stop in for just a couple of things. Um, and uh, just walking through and looking at stuff. And I see that they actually have frozen Alaskan salmon, um, the good salmon, uh, on the shelves in there. Uh, first time I've ever, ever, ever seen it. Usually they have the really inexpensive uh, pink salmon uh, at some discount price with some chems in it. Some m m Most of the seafood at Restaurant Depot has chems in it. So I'm always interested in looking to see what they're filled with and the chem chemicals. And that, and so then popped, a brand popped out. I'm like, I know that brand. I looked at the brand. I'm like, wow, this is a pretty legit brand. Um, and I go to price it out. And um, it's expensive. They actually had something really expensive. I called the Newburgh store this morning. Go, do you have the same salmon? They're like, yeah. I'm like, what's the price? And they quoted the price. So this next week, starting Monday, we're doing a salmon blowout. 10-pound cases of salmon for $14.99 a pound. Folks, you can't walk into Restaurant Depot right now and buy the same salmon for this price. The price I'm giving you next week is we buy hundreds of pounds of salmon. The salmon we're blowing out next week is going to be an amazing price. There's more to come on that. It's $14.99 a pound. It's our best price ever. Um, it's just amazing, amazing stuff. Restaurant Depot has a slightly lower quality product um, for almost the same amount of money. For almost the same amount of money, ours are line caught. Theirs are net caught. Um, still wild Alaskan salmon, different catch method. Um, so um, I know the fish company. The fish company does, does a great job that the, the brand was packed under, and I was shocked they had it. Totally shocked they had it. Um, so hopefully there's more people, uh, more chefs that are going to be buying that product and serving a better salmon. All right, so I shut everyone up. The other day, I made a comment on the chef feed and one of the chef groups. I belong to like 15 chef groups. And somebody commented and posted their farm salmon crap and said, oh, look at this great, beautiful fish and this and that. And so I went in there and eight out of 10 chefs were like, yeah, I love this salmon from Australia. I love this salmon from New Zealand. I love this farm salmon from Newfoundland. I love this farm salmon. They were all like, yeah, Scottish salmon, awesome. And I just made some comments, and um, some people, a couple people come back at me, be like, oh, these are fed natural antioxidants, and this and that, and so then I just went in back, and I made some comments about those so-called natural antioxidants that are synthetically derived from petroleum, uh, petroleum bath and azacithin, um, nothing natural about that, Eth oh, gee, I can never pronounce this one ingredient, Ethoquinine, ethoquinine, it's a chemical that Monsanto makes. It's a pesticide. It has to stabilize the fish feed. They put it in there. It's a carcinogen. It's can cancer causing. It's proven to be this. Um, there's, there's, you shouldn't be consuming it in salmon in, in, as humans. Um, it's just, it's bad news. And this is all published stuff. Um, this is what all the salmon's filled with. So I just dropped some comments back. One person was like, oh, this salmon's fed. No, so naturally I said, Genetically modified fungus is not natural. It's made in a lab. Here's their food. I know all about all this. I've been doing this for years. So commented back, and people were like, oh, I just learned something. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, good to know. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. So I think I kind of hopefully inspired some chefs in there to uh, to at least open their mind to be like, okay, maybe I shouldn't be serving farmed toxic salmon. Um, I reported something two days ago how... Um, they're now dis now discovering now discovering after 30 years that in British Columbia that the farm salmon is that this virus is getting out into the wild and killing off the specific salmon. This very this is a fragile species right now in the British in British Columbia, the wild salmon, because the farm salmons are just decimating them with all the disease and this specific piscine virus that's getting out, um, which the advocates knew this for years and years and years 
um, they were like, no, 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 you can't do this. This is, has viruses and disease and lice and feces and all these chems. Um, and it kept getting denied. Now that story, I, I talked about the other day when it was hours old. Now when you do farm salmon news feeds, that's all that shows up for pages. It's getting publicized everywhere about how this farmed salmon is destroying the wild salmon in British Columbia. And again, the, all those people that have been there um, on the front lines, um, Alexandra Morton, they've known this for 30 years. They've documented, they've tested it, and the seafood ministries in Canada deny it because they're protecting the farm salmon. So, um, one, of the, one of the filtered news feeds on there, let's see if I can pop it up real quick here, was, um, oh boy, about Australian salmon. Australian salmon, Australian farm salmon. Um, now, there is no migratory path of wild salmon in Australia or New Zealand because Salmon is only a northern hemisphere fish in the wild. It only exists in the northern hemisphere. They've tried to populate salmon into the streams and the oceans down in New Zealand. It just hasn't worked. They've tried it over and over. It hasn't worked. Salmon are a very smart species. They come back to the exact spot they were born or hatched. They come back there to spawn, and um, their life cycle is amazing. So they're, like, set up with their sonar and stuff, like, and their instinct to come right back to that spot. So um, I think by putting the salmon in not its home place, it's like turtles, like turtles are, that are crossing the road. You don't turn the turtle around. You don't turn the turtle around and say, here you go. The turtle knows where it's going, and it's going to turn back around and go back to that other, uh, other spot because the turtle just, that's what the turtle instinctively knows. <sighs> Excuse me. Or out smoking um, um, some brisket. Uh, so, um, and the wood is kind of wet, so the smoker's like billowing out smoke. Um, and I started sneezing out there. Um, so, one of the news feeds is the salmon from Australia right now. In Tasmania, specifically. Massive, massive death rates. They're not sure why the salmon is dying all of a sudden. Um, the farmed salmon is just dying. Um, so, I lost the article here. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I lost the article. Um, but I did get some stuff from Flanagan. Um, Flanagan's a well-known author um, that talks about um, the horrific famed, uh, 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 famed farm salmon conditions in Australia. Richard Flanagan, um, like like the horrific conditions. So one of the things that, that I didn't mention the other day about salmon feed, salmon feed, now they, they wild harvest um, uh, fish to, to feed salmon. They wild harvest fish, and it's a three-to-one ratio, three, three pounds of protein for one pound of salmon you, you gain. So it's just an off, off, off skew anyway. There's no right way to do the wrong thing. Well, because, it's, because they're realizing that that might not be the best thing to do, Verlasso in um, Chile, they do a genetically modified fungus to feed, so they get high marks from the Monterey Bay Aquarium because they're not out there um, destroying the wild population of other fish to feed this fish. So they got a high mark. It's a little misleading. Well, a few years ago, I forgot, and I forgot to mention this, a few years ago, proved for salmon food, proved for salmon food all over is, um, and it's it's really crazy because if you go to the Tassel website, Tassel's one of the largest producers down in, um, in uh, Australia, in Tasmania. And this is what they're saying. What do we feed our salmon? Real fish meal and fish oil. These are sourced from foraged fish, which are precious, a precious marine uh, resource, right? Then it says land animals. They're fed land animals. Um, chicken meal, blood meal, and chicken oil. Folks, the chicken they're using, um, and they use pork too. And then it says vegetable ingredients, grain and protein. They forgot to mention the ethoquinine, which is cancer clause and they forgot to mention several other things in there in that feed but folks what they do is they take the rendered down chicken beaks the feathers they take all that extra part just like they do like for dog food they render this stuff down and there's if you go to a processing plant i've been to several processing plants chicken ducks um and beef um, in Colorado, I, I, I became very friendly with, with uh, Frank, the owner of uh, GNC Processing. And when those animals go in to get processed, there is nothing that goes in the garbage. Just the water. Just the water to clean. There's nothing that goes in the garbage. Every single thing gets used from those plants. The feathers, the fur, 
the beaks, whatever it is, beef, beef or chicken, everything gets used. It gets reused, and it's sold off to cosmetic companies, dog food companies, all this. And I remember, I remember when Frank introduced me to the It was like, it was the worst part of the processing plant. The worst part it had the worst odors and everything. And sure enough, like clockwork, every day a truck would come in there and haul this stuff off. And I saw this happen in front of my eyes. All that, all this chicken stuff, the chicken feathers and beaks and all that kind of stuff, they don't separate out high quality chicken meat to feed salmon. They're literally rendering down feathers, beaks, anything they can that, that doesn't go for human consumption is getting rendered down and used. And the salmon farms love this. The salmon food companies love this because it's cheap. It's really inexpensive. And here's Tassel making, making to think like, oh, they're feeding it like this great chicken. Land animal ingredients, chicken meal, blood meal, and chicken oil. It doesn't say it's how it's all derived from feathers and ground up beaks and all that kind of stuff. And then vegetable ingredients, grain and protein meal. That means genetically modified soy is what that means to going into the salmon. Um, pork is approved, so you can actually put pork renderings. In fact, one of the biggest companies in in Newfoundland, um, in Alaska, Alaska in uh, Canada, the east side of the east coast of Alaska, bought a rendering plant, bought a pork rendering plant so they can process all any pork scraps um, and put it into into the food pellets uh, for the salmon folks this is what's happening this is terrible it's disgusting it is it is um, just like horrific what's happening hey Joe what's happening I'm on a Facebook live right now I know I know yeah you I, going out front or no no I gotta wait for the game hits to come in when they come okay. in I'll do it okay sounds good all right I'm awesome go to fentanyl, fentanyl oh okay okay you know I mean? yeah cause I was away last week and I came back I was like oh, I wonder what happened Okay, yeah, cool. Does everything's on back order with people, you know? Oh, yep, I know everything's on back order. All right. Hopefully my shrimp shows up today. I put, I put that 20 by, the 20 by 20 I was got for you. I saw. I, put it I saw, I saw, yeah. But they wanted to put it there. I wanted yep, to yep. move it. I wanted yep. to So, cool. I'll, 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 I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm on this live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's crummy out. <laughs> cool. That's our tent guy, Joe. Um, hooks us up with great tents. Yes, yes. Joe comes down whenever there's a storm and checks on our tent out back. Joe's awesome. Um, so I'm recommending to a lot of people for a tent. If you need a big commercial tent like we have in back, uh, message us and we can do that. Um, I got something else exciting that I want to talk to you about. Uh, so if you're tuning in live right now, drop a comment, hashtag live or hashtag replay if it's on the replay. Um, folks, this stuff that I am um, talking about, share with other chefs. Share with other chefs. Um, share with restaurant owners. Share with share with as many people as you can because this that this stuff is not publicized. You go to the websites for these salmon farms, and they make it like the best chefs are serving this. It's the finest fish out there, and this that, folks. There is. Let me play this part by Flanagan really quick here. Let's see if let's see if we can, um, Mitchell Flanagan. Let's see if you can listen in on this. You also talk about the use of a chemical called ethoxyquin uh, in Ethoxyquin. Salmon feed. Why is that a- so ethoxyquin is that really bad, nasty Monsanto pesticide chemical that is loaded into, loaded into fish pellets. The problem, if it was unsafe, it wouldn't be approved, would it? Uh, well, it's not approved any longer as a food additive uh, since 2017 in the EU. I'm not sure when that happened here. And it's not approved because it's a known carcinogen. The salmon industry have to use ethoxyquin to stabilize the fish meal which they have to feed the fish to get the omega-3 levels up um, it's been known for some decades that ethoxyquin leads to cancer in exposed animals um, it's been shown to cross the blood brain barrier of animals can accumulate in the fatty tissues of human lead to chromosome breakage and is detectable in human breast milk and according to Professor Edmund Mesa of the Department of Toxicology... So, present in, in women's bre- mother's breast milk. And we're told by our doctors to eat salmon, eat salmon, eat salmon. Salmon's healthy for you. Gee, at the University of Kiel, a thoxiquin can be mutagenic and toxic. And he said, and I quote, you need to eat a lot of farm salmon to reach these levels, but people who eat a lot of salmon can reach them. Also think of children and people with less body weight. For them, the limit is lower. Now, um, the salmon industry here, when I asked the salmon feed companies, only one answered about this, but they made the point that the ethoxyquin levels they use are well within the European limits of uh, 150 milligrams of ethoxyquin per kilogram of feed. Um, But what if there are no safe levels? 
Um, and why isn't uh, why is this being kept so secret? And the, the, the salmon industry has so many problems like this. The salmon industry wasn't worried about a thoxicon because no one ever spoke about it, but they were worried about the cost of fish meal. So they started using less fish meal and using plant-based product, and about up to a third of salmon you eat is just processed industrial chicken. So it's just feathers, fat, and the macerated beaks, claws, guts, and so on of chicken. So it's not really um, the wonder product that it's claimed. It's an artificially dyed product with this ethoxquin, which I should add was developed by Monsanto in the 1950s as a pesticide, and its other uses are to stop the cracking in car tires. All right, so you got the point on that. Um, nasty, nasty stuff. Share this with other chefs. Really share this with other chefs. Share it with people. Um, and this is the, this is the like like I, I talk to a lot of smart people, a lot of smart people, and they know this stuff. But then they turn around, they just go buy smoked salmon. When you're buying smoked salmon, folks, you're getting farmed salmon. Nine out of ten times, nine out of ten times, it's farm unless you're looking for true wild caught smoked salmon. We have that in our grocery store, um, not on sale right now, but it is in our grocery store. Um, costs a little more money, but it's well, well, well worth it. Um, well, well worth it. So. Um, we are selling this week uh, 14.99 um, 10 pound cases of wild coho salmon. They're six ounce portions. They're frozen. They come frozen, skin on. Um, you want to cook it with the skin on. It uh, helps keep it moister. Uh, farm uh, wild salmon like coho, sockeye, certain species have less fat than the farmed, a lot less fat than the farmed. I mean these these farmed fish just plumped up big time. Um, so, all right. Um, one last thing here. Um, so we have a little contest. We will, we're going to be doing a little contest. You can get your quote on our shirts. So we're doing limited runs of sports shirts, Roma Time sports shirts, right? Roma Time Real Food Great Bar. And on the back, here's a quote that we use from one of our regular guests. The worst part about Aroma Time is when I have to leave. And Calvin, uh, one of Calvin's quotes. So we're going to be doing some contests. Uh, where we're giving shirts away. If your quote makes it on our shirt, you're definitely going to get a shirt. Um, we're doing limited runs of these. Um, so we're stay tuned for more Facebook Lives. You'll, you'll have an opportunity to drop some comments, um, some quotes, and if we pick yours, we will definitely um, get, you some, get you a shirt, and um, we'll do limited runs that are for sale. Our staff will wear them. Um, so get your name, your quote on our T-shirts. These are high-quality... Um, uh, those sports shirts uh, that are um, uh, awesome for like working out, um, running, just summertime in general. So that's a story with that. All right. Um, thank you everybody for um, for uh, tuning in. We really, really, really appreciate it, um, and uh, really, really appreciate all the support. And thank you very much, everybody. Um, and that's it. If anybody has any questions, um, drop away. It's um, I, Saturday morning. Um, I know I always have a lot more, um, a lot more people on um, on the weekends because obviously you're not at work. So um, uh, let's see. Emails going out today in a few minutes, um, talking about our specials, talking about the salmon. And all of that. Um, so that's it. All right, folks. I'm going to get out of here. Everybody have an amazing day. Stay warm. Stay warm. And um, Joel, the shirt is not American-made, unfortunately. We have American-made hats coming in. Uh, we have had American-made shirts in the past. We have had organic cotton shirts in the past. We've done both. Um, so I'm always trying to find sources for as many American-made products as possible, especially our to-go containers and all kinds of that. These shirts, unfortunately, are not. Um, so, um, uh, but yeah, uh, we're always looking for American-made sources. We have some really nice hats coming in. They're on order. They were literally three times the price, almost four times the price for an American-made hat versus um, an imported hat. So whenever we can, we're as conscious as we possibly are, really as conscious as we possibly are. So um, thanks for asking on that, Joel. Thank you very much. If anybody has a good source um, for American shirts, that is awesome. Um, we're always looking to do. Um, and we have a guy here who does screen printing, so we could always hand him the shirts. So, hemp shirts. Yeah, hemp shirts, Russell. That's great. 
So hemp is definitely um, a way to go. So, all right, that's it, folks. I'm out of here. Um, talk to everybody later and have a great day. Stay warm. Stay dry.